Oh, okay. Let's go. Standard like the others. Standard is the standard. Lights are off. Let's get going. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch. Is this Coraline or something? Deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Well, how does it end? Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Are you sure? You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Is that Mia? I'll finish dinner. Is this the ending where I didn't let her die? My bee? By the way, Mia. <laughs> Sorry for trying to save Zoe, you know? It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. P to skip photo mode. Uh... Did you say something? Oh, Nothing. No. I'll put her down. <laughs> she knows. Run. Run away. Fuck that. Rose, you must hide here. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Okay, never mind. Apparently it's cold outside. This is a weird, uh... Oh. Oh. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. She don't listen. She don't even remember what we said. How many times she stabbed you this week, Ethan? Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. So that's why she's acting up a wall? Almost there, honey. That was a little creepy. He said that kind of like deadpan. That was really creepy.
So yeah, that was Mia. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Rose's clothes. Mia's computer. February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally, finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Yeah, dude, I agree, honestly. You need to fucking talk it out. Mia's downstairs on a fucking thin line between going psycho and holding it together. Rosemary Winters. Screening, hearing, all oh, good health. Other notes. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. <sighs> so they're testing her for that fungus Rose's that was in Mia? Rose's favorite toy. Gun survivalist. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Oh. Oh, Okay. So he's been studying up on actual, like, fucking combat survival. <laughs> oh, these are the only two pages. One hell of a memory book, Ethan. We can't even see your face in any of these. Can we take the ball? We can. Come, ball. No, ball. Not the corner. Ah! Damn it. Can I get it out? Come on. Nope. I love you, ball. I love you more than the baby. Don't tell the baby. Is there anything over here? He's got any fucking bodies hanging or something? <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Historical look into the architecture of Eastern European castles and keeps. Are we gonna fucking, like, rob the queen or something? Curtains closed on the Delvey gas incident. The committee completed their inv investigation on the 18th into the Delvey to toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the death w deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud rock under the area. So they're trying to say it was just, uh... Natural incident. That makes sense. U.S. government and all. <laughs> Jack Baker, 57, and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winter and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. So we're in like witness protection or something? I already examined that bathroom. Hey, you crazy bitch. Put the kid to sleep. There you are. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Don't hit me Is with she that. okay? Sleeping like, uh, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. Three years. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's going to be... Seriously? think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> What the fuck? Mia, get down! Mia! Ah, 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 ah. 
What in the god damn? These fuckers wasted my wine. Oh yeah, and there's me. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I just keep hiding there like a little bitch, Ethan. That's fucking cool. Chris. Wait, what? The hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Okay, now I want to know why too, actually. What the fuck? Go on, move! Hey, fuck off, dude. Oh, there's the kid. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Package? Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. You just shot my wife, dude. <laughs> fuck yourself. Rose. Oh, fuck. Get him out. Fuck is this? Hey Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, four o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey now. Think positively, alright? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. So is she like worried that I got infected or something? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. She's dead now. And they clearly didn't do too good of a job killing me. Holy fuck. Oh. Jesus. I thought I was like outside, out front or something. About damn time. What's your status? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off our floor. Fuck. What the hell happened here? I don't know, dude. You were the one taking a nap. Okay. Examine phone. It's useless. Okay. Couldn't we, couldn't we, like, look it over a bit? Mission objective. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Okay. So, killed Mia. Recovered her body. Secured Rosemary, my daughter, and me. Moved the two winners to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. I assume this is one of them. Is there a second one in there? There's not. Are you in the driver's seat, bud? I can't see in there. I assume no. Fuck me, that's dark. Okay. Oh, it looks like there were footprints up here. Footsteps. leaving footsteps no I'm not bad game zero out of ten Red Dead Redemption animates <laughs> never mind oh 
No, I don't do that. I don't deal with that at all. Ethan, you're not like a little bit worried about that? Just gonna keep breathing, buddy? That's fine. Ew, that's rusted as shit. Yeah, I saw that coming. Cold, rusted metal. Fuck that. That's horrible. Absolutely not. Maybe. Maybe not. Please not. That's no, fucking dark. Oh, great. Something left me a crow as a gift. Thank you. I'm not hungry right now. I heard it. I heard it for a second. Did you take the crow? You did not. Oh my god, there's crows everywhere. What kind of gifts are these? Ew. Ew. Oh, fuck. No, it's not dead yet. Okay, let's get out of there. That crow's gonna get silenced. Yep, there it is. Don't look back, just keep going forward, Ethan. Put one foot in front of the other. What the fuck was that? I think I'd rather have Paw creeping around with the fucking deer legs at this point. Oh, there's dead fish. Oh fuck, hello? Hello? Knock knock? My claw crashed, woo. Oh fuck. Please. Absolutely nothing. Okay, close it. Don't know why there was an animation for it, but I'll take it. Ha. Huh. Modern science. Fuck, it's dark in here. I thought... thought Biohazard was supposed to be... Uh, I thought Biohazard was supposed to be the horror one. I don't like that. Let's open this. Don't suppose we have a gun anywhere, Ethan. No? Like, not even on us? We are in Europe, actually. There's no... can't carry here. Oh, I hate it. I hate everything about it. Let's let's investigate. Hello? Did you take my daughter? I will find you. Oh fuck, I fucking hate this. I'm actually gonna fucking scream like a little girl, aren't I? Something's upstairs, there's a bunch of blood here. It's gonna be the second driver. Here we go. It's a rat. Huh, that's why we crashed. A driver. It's just a rat eye. There's something behind me, actually. Hello? I'm safe. I thought this was gonna be like Bioshock. Fuck! Oh. Fuck me. Thought that was gonna. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm shocked now. I, uh, was gonna say, thought it was gonna be like, I'm shocked if you turn around and that head thing, they're screaming at you, bud. Nope. Hello? Oh my god. Slide on your butt belly like a penguin through the blood. Go, Ethan, go. Ew. What did all this? Yeah, that's what I want to fucking know too, honestly. Uh, why did it suddenly become daylight when I went in the basement? Okay, well the entrance is blocked. Only one way. Suddenly no longer night. There's no need to fear anything now. If I can see it, I can at least uh, not get scared.
Oh, that's cool. Where the shit. hell am I? That's a cool shot. I like that. Are we in fucking Wallachia or something? Is that castle gonna start teleporting around? Oh, well, I did say I missed the horses, but uh I didn't didn't really want a horse to die. I'm just saying, you know, if I had to choose, I would have rather had pause horses, but... Fuck. Knock, knock. Maybe, maybe they're out? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're out for a long... Yeah, they're out permanently. Oh, fuck. Look at all that blood. Uh, absolutely nothing in this house. On to the next one. Knock, knock. This is the police? Okay, fuck. I am a close personal friend of Chris Redfield, I have you know. He was nice enough to kill that crazy bitch. I didn't even have to dirty my hands. Something twigged over there. There's blood here. Is there a body in there? I can't look. I feel like I should. Hello? <laughs> okay. I need some kind of crank or something for the well. Oh, well, there's birds. Need a key for that. Do not enter. I never listen to those signs. I guess. Is it gonna be unlocked now? Okay, no. Thought I heard something move off to the right. Uh, is this gonna be like I have to kite something in this area? There's a lot of like open circles. Oh fuck, something's in the attic. I can see the attic. There's nothing up there actually. Okay. I don't even know where to go, honestly. Let's try this way. This looks like a dead end, so it's a quick and easy search. Oh! Well, either way, continuing on. Something flipped a truck. The vampire theory is starting to seem a lot more feasible now. If I see something walking around in day armor, I'm gonna shit up bricks. There's goat heads. Is this another local specialty? What happened? I wish I could talk to Mia. She'd understand. She always understood local specialties. In Louisiana, I was the specialty. And apparently fungus too. A lot of fungus. Uh Locked to do to missing homeowner. We'll unlock it. I'll take the home. It's locked. <laughs> oh no! The mysterious door is open. I fucking wonder why. Some force could break it. You have two hands, don't you, Ethan? Oh, yep. Give me that. Thank you. Old habits die hard, huh, Ethan? First aid. Does this one pause? Oh, yes, I can pause again. Thank God. Okay, that can't be broken. That can't be broken. What do you mean some objects can be broken, game? How little is thumb? Did they stuff? just run out of the house? Oh, that's that stuff Mio was making. Instead of trying to open it like a sick. No, no, friendly, friendly. 
Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! I don't know why Ethan's acting so weird. It's not like it's his first rodeo with a fire out there. Oh. Way to go, hey, old man. Are you listening? Hey! Oh, God. I wasted that shot. Fucking what idiot. The... Oh fuck, that's a lot of blood. Oh shit! Dead body? I do believe that's that old man. Wait, there's more. Did I... Yeah, no, something just dragged me down here and then immediately fucking just left me. While I was screaming. That doesn't make sense. Holy shit! Jesus Christ. No wonder that that old man didn't have a chance in hell. This is their fucking the food storage. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Something's moving right there, Ethan. Look up. Get the gun. Do something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did a fucking Wendigo or something? Jesus. Look at it. What the fuck was that? Get the gun, Ethan. No. Oh, fuck. Are you dead? No, you're not. Please. Please die. Please. Pulse. Oh, fuck. Okay. Reload. Are you done? Okay, sweet. There was another one in that basement. There was another one what that was hell? sitting there. Oh fuck, oh jeez, oh god, oh man. How did it... Okay, fuck, there's something upstairs again. Okay, this makes no sense. It pulled me through the ground, but there's no hole in the ground, even though I looked up before. Hole cutters. 